Um, and comments are used in a variety of ways uh, when you're writing and as you can see when you're reading. Um, we're gonna go through six different ways to use commas. These aren't all the ways, but I figured for one lesson to pick these six would be good. So one of the ways we use commas, and I have this all written on the screen here, commas separate independent clauses, which are complete thoughts. Uh, when they're joined by what's called co coordinating conjunctions, and there are seven of them, there's these little words that we can put in a sentence in between complete thoughts. And we must always put a comma after the first complete thought before the little word. So I have some examples here. I like to ride my bike, comma, and I love to swim in the summer. And how you know this is used correctly is if you take out, let's see, you take out the conjunction and the comma and put a period space and they're two complete sentences. I like to ride my bike, period. I love to swim in the summer, period. You know you're using it correctly because it's got to have two complete thoughts on either side of it. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so another example, I, what I did was I gave you an example of each one of those conjunct coordinating conjunctions. Um, John will do just about anything for Natalie, comma, for he loves her. So if you took out four in the comma, you have two complete sentences, two complete thoughts, right? Another one, she loves spaghetti, comma, but she doesn't like meatballs on it. Okay. Um, grandma will bake bread. Oops. Oh, wait. This one I didn't put in because I wanted you to do it. So you tell me where to put the comma on the next three statements. Am I going for a John or, or I'm look, reading from where it says I like to write? Uh, you're going to start with Grandma will bake bread and you'll tell me where to put the comma. Okay. Grandma will break bread, comma or she will bake cookies. Because if I remove or, then it says, grandma will break, uh, bake, break, uh, uh, I know. Bread, which is a complete sentence. And without the or, it says she will break, break cookies. But then again, that's, that's complete, but it's not because then we have to define who is she. But I guess that's something else, a different type of. Yeah, now that's a complete sentence. You just don't know who she is. You know, it's, it's using a personal pronoun instead of like saying grandma will bake cookies or, you know, her name. But it's still a complete sentence. If you just said she will bake cookies, period, that's a complete sentence. Okay. Yeah, because she is the subject. Mm -hmm. Will bake is the uh, verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do the. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> you want me to do the next one? Uh huh. Okay. Um, where was that? Where was that? Okay. okay. It says, it says I don't like uh, water skiing, uh, comma, nor do I enjoy jet skiing. Good. I don't like water skiing is complete. If I remove nor, then it says, um, do I enjoy jet skiing? But then that turns into a question. Yes, you're right. So get rid of do and you've got, I enjoy jet skiing. Okay. You're very, very observant. Okay. Um, Betty is bringing drinks to the party, comma. So I will bring. So I will bring the main dish. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay. Um, he he says he likes to read, comma. Yet he seems to often, uh, find something else to do to do instead of reading. You know, I'm going to move this too, because grammatically, I think it needs to be here. He seems often to find, it's nothing you did, that's me, but you got the comma right, right before the little <laughs> conjunction there. That's great. Okay, so you understand? Um, it's not the other way with the two in front of the often. It's not, <laughs> it kind of sounds better that way. You like it better that way? You know, it, my computer, I don't know if you can see this, but it showed a red line. 
-hmm. which means grammatically it's not correct. Yet he seems to often find something else to do instead of reading. He seems, you could do, you know, it's not a huge deal. <laughs> I, I, tend to, I tend to like it after, that's just me, but it's not, either way is not a big deal. He seems, okay. either one, often to find something else. He seems to find something else. You know what? Let's get rid of this whole thing. And yet he seems to find something else to do. Yeah, I, I think it's grammatically, oh, it's better. <laughs> and that's the cool thing about writing. You know, it's not like that you just write and then you're you're done. It's called editing, right? Mm -hmm. And so I don't know. I love writing, and it, to me, it's like music. So you know mm -hmm. how with music you just made one sound, it, would, it wouldn't make any sense. But when you put pauses in it, that's what makes the music. Same thing with writing is when you use the commas and the punctuation, it changes the sound and the feel of each sentence and it makes it more interesting. And so it's fun to edit. I don't know, I like to do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, 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 I think often should go before scenes, yet he often seems to find. Oh, there you go, Chris. <laughs> what is editing? Okay. And yeah, he first, needs to find something to do. There you go. Yeah. Job. Just, Good just job. as a, as 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 another little grammar tidbit, you always want to keep the word to connected to a verb, but to always has to go before the verb that it's connected to. Good. Um, and that's called an infinitive, if anybody wow. cares. Nice. Yeah. So is your strength the language arts? No, but <laughs> I <laughs> know that. <laughs> that's cool. That's very cool. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So um, number two way to use, second way to use commas, are commas are, are used after what's called introductory phrases or words that come before the main phrase. So common starter words for an introductory phrase are things like after, although, as, because, if, since, when, and while, okay? So I've got some examples here. Um, after she called me, comma, we decided to make a date for dinner. So after she called me is not a complete sentence. It's actually a sentence fragment, but that tells you that's where you put the comma. The other thing about commas is you can hear it in your mind and you can hear it in your voice that it's a time to pause. So do you hear that? Like after she called me, we decided to make a date for dinner. Can you hear that? That like pause? Not hear it, but I can see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because we would let's likely say after she called me, we decided to make a date for dinner. That most people when speaking, it's after she called me. We decide there's just a slight pause in there, which is a heads up that there could be a comma. Just just so you know. Um, I, 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 would still understand it. I said I would still understand it, even if it was like a run on sentence. I would still <laughs> Right. But the, but the commas, the thing is the commas just slow it down a little bit. I know when I'm reading a book and there are certain commas, it just there's a flow that feels right to me. You'll 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 see it as you're reading. Um, as was expected, comma, Steve was late again. So see, as we expected is an incomplete sentence. It's an introductory phrase. So why don't you do the other three coming up? There's some kind of beep. I don't know what that is. Okay. Hello. How are you? <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. I say hello. How are you? Is somebody else on? Yes. That's yes. Tashiana. Tash oh. Oh, hi. I can't see you. How are you? I can hear you. Tashiana? Yeah, I have my thing. Yes. Uh, we are working on commas in this lesson. And okay. I'm just explaining how one of the ways comma, commas can be used are with introductory phrases, which are like incomplete sentences. Ah, there you are. Hi. Mm -hmm. So you always put the comma after the introductory phrase. So okay. uh, Lana is going to tell me where to put the comma in this sentence right here. It starts with, if we work. If we work really hard 
trauma, we'll get it done in time to see a movie. Wonderful. Yep. Here's another introductory word. It's since. Do you want to try this one, Lana? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> would, okay. would either, who would like to try this one with since? I'll do it. Okay. Since I last saw, since I last saw you, comma. Your hair would your hair has grown as long so long. Exactly. Nice. How about the next one, Lana? We'll just go back and forth. Okay. While we were waiting, comma, another ten, another ten people came into the store. Yes. So can you both see where, where we're going with this? Is that the first part of the sentence is not complete? Um, it's an, called an introductory. So it's also called a subordinate clause, but to me, it makes more sense to call it an introductory phrase. Uh, that's where you put the comma. Um, all right, the third way to use a comma is in the middle of a sentence. And you know the comma placement works if you take out what is between the commas and the sentence still makes sense. So we'll go through this. Here's an example. Okay. That Tuesday, comma, which happens to be my birthday, comma, is the only day when I'm available. So if you take out this piece in the middle between the commas, I lost my cursor here. Where did it go? There we go. You take this part out. It's that Tuesday is the only day when I'm available. Still makes sense, okay? Um, but this is kind of a clarifying phrase and it goes between the commas. And this is where I really think you hear a voice pause. So if you say that Tuesday, which happens to be my birthday, is the only day when I'm available. Do you hear that pause, the change in yeah. inflection? Yeah, I can you can take that whole thing. <laughs> you can pull that whole thing out. I'm sorry? I see you can take that whole line out, which happens you to be my birthday. You absolutely could, right. But if you want to clarify the day, the only day when you're available or why it's the only day, it, it's a great way to be able to stick something else in a sentence and just put two commas okay. on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another example. Uh, did I give you? Yes, I did. Okay. My aunt, comma, who is one of my favorite relatives, comma, lives next door to me. So there it is, another phrase in the middle of the sentence, right? And it just clarifies. So you're saying something about the ant, more information about the ant. And you can do that by sticking it in the middle of the sentence as long as you use commas on either side of that, right? Um, okay, who would like to read the next sentence and just tell me about it? Okay, um, Jackie's car. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Um, Jackie's car. Which he belong, which he bought last night. I'm sorry, I can't see it so little. Oh, it's Jackie's okay. car, which he bought last year, is ready already starting to have problems. So, so the, yeah. and which he bought last year, he specified that he specifically bought it when he bought it. Exactly. Excellent. Okay, next one. Lana? Our dog. Comma, Nell, Nellie, that's Nellie, right? Uh huh. Angel. So, what what are you asking me to do? You so tell, to do can you explain to me why there are there's a part of a sentence that has commas? What are the commas doing in that sentence? Well, it's 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 showing who the subject is, and it's giving a a description uh, of what looks like an opinion. Of what what that what that dog is to the owner. It's a yes. it's like a, a description. Right, and you were right in saying that the word Nelly is specific. We could have just said our dog is an angel, but instead I wanted to tell you that do our dog Nelly. I want you to know her name, right? So that's why I put it in there, and there are two commas on either side of her name. And Nelly happens to be just with me right here, so I'll show you Nelly. <laughs> 
she doesn't want to be seen. Okay. <laughs> I was going to quote. She's How quote. ironic. <laughs> She's a tiny little Bijan. Um, all right, next one. Next one up. Is it Tanisha? Um, the Tashiana. The Tashi tree in our backyard, which was planted May la last May, is d dying already. So in this sentence, it's not a comma for one. So where so would you the, um the tree in our backyard, comma, which was planted last May, comma. Excellent. Is dying already. That's it. Good job. Okay. Lana, you get the next one. Okay. Where is it? Okay. My brother Rick, comma, is six years older than me. And so, Rick is the brother. The older brother. Right. Now, mm -hmm. is there is there just one comma? Says my brother Rick, comma, is six years older than me. Yeah, so it's only one. Actually, there are two. Because you're setting aside the specific. My brother. So yeah. my brother, comma, and then he's being specific to who his brother is, which is Rick. Okay. There you go. Right. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Next one, Tashiana. Gardening, one of my favorite hobbies. Gardening, one of my favorite hobbies is something to do for my month of the year. Gardening, comma, one of my favorite hobbies, comma, right. is something I do for my for many months of the year. Yes. You guys are getting the hang of this. Okay, last one on this one. Okay, David, David's David's home, comma, a century house, comma, is the oldest house on the street. Excellent. Okay, so now what we've talked about, and I don't, Tashian, I don't think you were here for this part. There were six ways to use commas. There are more than this, but I'm just talking about six ways. The first okay. way is that a comma uh, separates what's called independent clauses uh, with these little things that are called coordinating junctions. So two <laughs> independent clauses are two complete sentences. So you use one of these little words after the first comma. So after the comma. So I like to ride my bike, comma, and I love to swim in the summer. So you see there are two complete ideas here with this little coordinated conjunction, and you always use the comma before it. So these are the examples we gave. John will do just about anything for Natalie, comma, for he loves her. Uh, she loves spaghetti, comma, but she doesn't like meatballs on it. So do you see that there are two complete, complete ideas yeah. on either side of the little word, the conjunction? Yeah. So we talked about that. And then we talked, you tell me when you came in on the lesson, we talked about commas are used after introductory phrases or words. Things like after, always, as, because, since, when, and while. So after she called me, comma, we decided to make a date for dinner. <coughs> Does that look familiar? Did you come in at that point or? I don't know if any of this looks familiar. I think you did. I think you came in around here where it was the incomplete sentence, incomplete thought, as we expected, comma, and then the complete thought. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay, yes. so now, okay. So we've talked about separating two complete thoughts, using the comma after an introductory phrase, using the commas in the middle of sentences to make specific ideas for whatever the sub going on with the subject. And now we're going to talk about commas that, that are used with geographic names. I mean, this is fairly easy. You guys probably know how to do this. You know, if you're if you're addressing an envelope and you got to put the city and state, you always put the comma after the city, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, this one, commas are used with items and dates. So July 4th, 1776. April 29th, 2020, you always put the comma after the digit of the day. Um, 
Now this is, if you're writing only the month and the year, no comma, right? So if you're just saying February 1957, no comma. August 1945, no comma. Is okay. that new information for you or did you know that? I know that. Okay. Uh, the last one here, commas are used in titles of names. So you'd say Dan Jones, comma, PhD. And, and people do this differently, but the PhD is capital P, small h, period, capital D, period. Sometimes I forget how to do this. <laughs> I'm not a PhD, so that might be one of the reasons why. Ben Zimmer, MD, there are no periods in there, but there's always a comma after the person's name before the letters after their name. Okay. Okay. So these last couple ones are just, last four, five, and six are just smaller ways to use commas. Okay. Basically, that's the lesson for today. Just six ways to use commas.